Hello and welcome back to another video. So today I bring you a follow-up video to the SM boosting as I did previous video. So uh, my hunter reached level 42 in SM, so it was about time for me to move on to Maradon. As I heard about this one pull strategy in the Maradon to XP farm, also boost people and earn gold. So because of that I want to give a big shout out to Nianchu from my guild for helping me understand and succeed doing this. And I also want to give a shout out to Arius for bringing a lot of videos on how to do this. And um, I could take a lot of inspiration from his videos and put it into my own routine and make it um, without using any consumables. So shout out to you guys, thank you. Also, my gear and talents for this will be in the description box below. Check it out, and while you're at it, hit, the, hit that subscribe button and give the video a like if you feel it deserves it. So as you can see, rank 1 Frostbolt pulled the first two packs and Frost Nova the third pack. This one I use a Cut of Cold rank 1 and then I'll just pink blink past the bridge. This pack I will not pull yet. I'm gonna pull this pack first with the counter spell and then I'm gonna pull this pack with the fire blast. You can use rank 1 abilities, I decided to have kind of a mix of kind of cold rank 1 and just max rank fire blast as I don't really have any mana problems doing this. And then when you pulled all these uh, packs, you just leg it. Now I know I skipped one pack in, in the little um, grow cave or whatever it's called. I feel for me personally I don't really need to pull it and it will just make more harm than good anyway, as it's only like 200 experience or something like that. Anyway, just leg it around here and blink on cooldown basically. And don't worry to have a... Uh, if, if the maps are right up, you're behind you, it doesn't really matter, because up here at the, at the water, they will kinda bug out, so to say, meaning they will freeze for, for a few seconds until you reach like around the boss area, then it'll start moving again. So you're gonna create some good distance here. But just make sure you have your blink on cooldown basically and, and you'll be fine. So there's some trouble here if you're a gnome, because some, somewhere in the water it's, it's too, too shallow, so that means you gotta swim. So I recommend you to run here on the, uh, on the ledge down to the water. Counter spell this guy and then you just Nova these uh, slimes here and move on. Now you see these sisters here, you don't want to pull these because if you pull these it's pretty much a wipe as they do ranged attack that you can resist. So avoid pulling those. If you do you might as well just reset. Anyway back to the video so uh, back to the pull sorry. So make sure you pull everything, counter spell that guy. Now unfortunately I was a bit too far away as you can see. Fire blast this guy so you have them all and then you just make sure to have your shield up all the time. Personally I don't use mana shield as you really need a lot of mana for this as you're gonna pull so many mobs. And then you just kind of call these and blink past these two mobs here. Don't pull these slimes, you can pull it, they are not gonna, I mean they're gonna reset anyway so it doesn't really matter. Now usually here I just know what these. I didn't have Nova up, so I kind of, uh, sorry, kind of called them instead. Just basically pull everything you can and blink away. Now I'm gonna give you a little tip here, as uh, my friend Nianchu he told me, one of the most important things to do in this dungeon when you're pulling is actually doing these really wide turns, meaning that the the more wide they are, the more stacked the mobs will also get. So Nova, these two boys here, and then you just. Rank 1, kind of cold this guy, and then you jump down. And don't stop up here to reach a man or anything, just keep on legging it because we're gonna pull some more and it's really important that you have this great distance right now. So avoid pulling these for now, we will come back and pull these later, so don't worry, we will not miss any mobs in here. But for now don't pull any of these. So in this little cave here you can see there are three packs of satyrs which we're gonna pull with the rank 1 Frostbolt. As you can see here. And then this guy, you can just kind of cold rank 1 on him. This guy, Arcane Explosion. Now, of course, remember to keep up your ice, ice armor for the slowing effects. And then you just Arcane Explosion rank 1 or max rank, whatever you feel like. Nova this, li this little pack here, Nova that, and then you just jump down. And then 
if you turn to the left here, you can see there's this little spot, there's this little tree here where you're going to cast a rank 1 blizzard. And the reason why we're going to do that is to stack them up, but also because of this little tree stump here, they have to like walk over it, meaning you're going to get a little few more seconds to, to like make sure they all get hit by the blizzard. It's a really good spot and that was something I learned from Arlius video, so that's a really good spot and uh, yeah, use that 100%. Now here it's important that you don't use your blink yet because the mobs are gonna run under this, under this little tunnel here and if you don't have blink here, as you can see, they will hit you through the ground because of the um, mechanic blizzard made to like not make people able to like fly or something, I don't know. Anyway, cast rank 1, frostbolt times 2 here, slow all the mobs to stack them up and then you cast uh, rank 1 frost over here. And then you just leg it around and you can see the mobs are starting to clump up really good in a big huge clump that what we want them to be in so you just run to this spot here and then you once again cast a rank one blizzard here exactly on this spot because that makes them all being hit uh, by blizzard except of course for this one guy here now that i'm making a video about it of course he had to resist now this guy i didn't pull him mistakenly on uh, on the first pull so it doesn't matter just rank one frost no uh, frost bolt on him and start licking it now we're going into this little corner here and we just cast a rank one frost bolt on the, the trees here as you can see then the two in the middle here i pull with a, a cane explosion and then i cast a counter spell on this guy blink away and nova here and then again, you just want to take these wide turns, as you can see here, I'm going all the way around to pull these mobs in the corner here. Now these mobs, I recommend you to pull them with a kind of cold, blink away. And then this pack here, you should pull with a frost nova, in my opinion, to make sure they stack up with all the other mobs. And as you can see, because of the wide turns I was talking about, they're all getting stacked up now. It's a really, really great way to stack them up. You can, if you don't feel comfortable, you can make a 180 kind of cold on them and just keep on licking it if they get a bit too close. You want to have a bit of distance, like around 20 yards, I would say. Now this pack here, you just frost over as I do here. And then you can blink away. Just make sure to have some good distance because over here, we're going to cast a rank 1 frostbolt again. Uh, sorry, blizzard. Now target this guy here, the Sati here, because we're going to counterspell him. Cast the blizzard in the little corner there, as you can see they all get hit and they just keep stacking up more and more. It's so nice. Then you counterspell the guy in the corner and you can um, kind of cold this guy. And then in here you can just cast an arcane explosion. And then you once again cast a frost nova as I do here. And here is one of the biggest, greatest white turns. As you can see, I hop basically the wall all the way around and that makes the mobs stack up so much. Like they're all really, really getting stacked now, as you can see. Anyway, make sure to keep up your shield, of course. It would be a good time to pop your shield now. If you're a little low on health, if, if you got too close, you can bandage up here. I would recommend you to use the Mage Weave bandages because you're going to get so much Mage Weave in here, you won't believe it. And then you just start casting the rank 1 blizzard here and cast another one on the corner of the stairs here. That way we'll have them even more stacked. You can see it's getting so clumped up, it's so nice. Then the tree, pull him with a whatever spell you feel like. I pulled him with a fire blast. Frost over this guy. And now we're basically going into the killing phase. We just need to move them to the beginning of the instant so we can make sure the guys we boost and get in the experience and such. And also that's where we have to kill them anyway because that's where we're gonna we're gonna juggle them back and forth. Again, if they are a little too too spread out in a long snake, you can cast a rank one blizzard here as I do, as you can see. I had a few mobs ahead of the pack, so I wanted to slow them down a bit. And I cast once again here just to make sure that they are all stacked up. But don't let them finish because you just you, you need to have the distance between you and the mobs.
and you shouldn't worry too much because it's gonna take the mobs a while to get to you so so don't worry but of course have the minor speed enchant on your on your boots remember to use your mage armor now because you want the extra resistance to um to avoid all these uh to resist all these spell casts from the imps and then you just cast a max rank or rank one whatever you want blizzard here on the bottom of the stairs and then cast another one a bit up so you make sure they all get nova always cast a blizzard on the mobs in front of the pack because you want them slow you don't want them to get to you as some of them did here you can see i casted a nova it's fine though because now we are in the phase where we can just juggle them back and forth and as you probably saw some of the imps were casting on me that's why i sidestepped a bit into the um into the ground so yeah this is the tactic and this is how i do it and i must say i get around i think 18 20 percent of a level every time i do this and that's just being me and my hunter only if you're in a group it's more experience of course now the downside about doing this is there's so much loot there's so much loot in here because you killed so many mobs that you will probably have to go to the vendor after two runs which is another 10 10 minutes ish added to your to your time so i personally i only managed to do a maximum of four runs per hour but still if you're boosting people that should be around 200 gold if you charge them between 8 and 10 gold each and the experience is probably going to go up to i don't know like 25 percent if you're a full group but yeah anyway i hope you like this video and um I hope you can use this guide for something, let me know and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Alright, so if you liked the video please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below and hit the like button. Until next time, bye!